Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to have a small introduction to statistics. So if that makes you want to throw up, I apologize. I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible. <laughs> if that's exciting, great. <laughs> there is statistics embedded in machine learning, especially when we're doing machine learning for predictions and recommendation engines, but I'm going to make it as easy as possible so all that all the junk that you don't like about statistics and math, throw that crap out because this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna be talking about mean, median, mode, and range. These are formally known as measures of central tendency. Statistics is now going to be cool because we can apply it to something and see why it's actually useful rather than just uh, numbers. Okay, these are cool when it comes to machine learning because the measures of central tendency define what's normal. And this is extremely important with machine learning because when we have that data set, that's actually probably not going to work for processing machine learning. And the reason that is, is because a data set is going to be extremely messy, have a lot of stuff we don't really care about, and is not going to be a good representation of reality. And that's what we've been trying to figure out this whole time. How do we represent reality? <laughs> well, very good ways to represent reality are with the measures of central tendency. Think about it this way. If you were trying to teach a computer to recognize a cat, well, you're going to give it normal cats to look at. You're not going to start with cats of weird sizes. You're not going to give it cats that are missing legs. You're not going to give it cats that don't look like cats or cats that are hidden behind objects. You're going to start with what's considered normal. Now that's a little bit more complex because we're dealing with images, but the same thing can be applied when, it, when we're talking about numbers. So for example, if we are talking about weight, well, there's going to be a measure of central tendency for weight and that kind of defines what's considered normal. Later on, we're going to take our data set and we're going to go through some cleaning processes to make sure that we have a strongly defined measure of central tendency, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> Essentially what that means is if we have a bunch of data that's completely away from the measures of central tendency, we're going to kind of crop that data off. So let's just define these real quick because these are going to come up very handy in the future videos and as you go on in your machine learning adventures. So the mean, this is just the average. And the way you calculate that is you take all the values, add them up, and divide by however many there are. So if we had three values, you would take them, add them together, and divide by three, which is going to give you the value 10. Which makes sense, the average is 10 because everyone has the value 10. But if you increased one of these, that's going to increase the average by a certain amount. So you know if you made this 20, well now when you divide it by three, it's going to be a number bigger than 10. So the mean tells you the average. The median, that's the middle value. So that's when you sort them. So you take a bunch of values and you sort them from least to greatest and the median is going to be the middle value. Simple as that. If it's an even number of elements, such as 9, 10, 11, and 12, well then you can't take the middle that easily. You have to take the middle two elements and then take the average on those. So you take 10 plus 11 divided by two, get 10 and a half. The mode is the most. So if we had 9, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, this 12 would be the most. So the mode would be 12. Range, that's taking the largest value and subtracting the smallest value. So we take 12 and we subtract nine and get eight. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, let me think, three. <laughs> okay, we get three. So that is how you do the mean, median, mode, and range. And those are going to be extremely important in our machine learning processes. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the next video. Peace.